Welcome to the first tutorial of the Performance Management Appraisal System PMAS. I'm your presenter, Constable Rashimo Gordon. In this tutorial, we will explore the performance management and provide an overview of PMAS, including its importance, characteristics, objectives, purpose, scope, and guiding principles. So what is performance management? Performance management is the process of creating a work environment or setting in which people are enabled to perform to the best of their abilities. It is a whole work system that begins when a job is defined as needed and ends when an employee leaves the organization. Employee performance management includes planning work and setting expectations, continually monitoring performance, developing the capacity to perform, periodically rating performance in a summary fashion, and rewarding good performance. The importance of performance management. Performance management has implications for both the organization and individuals. It facilitates better decision-making by providing managers with information to perform their management control functions. Performance appraisals, which links individuals and organizational performance to aspects of personal management. Service delivery, as performance management improves public service performance through productivity, effectiveness, quality, and timeliness. Performance management also facilitates the improvement of civil discourse as it helps to make public deliberations about service delivery more factual and specific. Accountability, which ensures responsibility on the part of managers. And finally, participation through the clear reporting of performance measures that can stimulate both external and internal stakeholders to take a greater interest and provide more support for entities' initiatives. Why implement PMAS now? There are four main reasons for the implementation of the PMAS. One, the present system of appraisal is no longer suitable to satisfy the current requirements of an appraisal system. Two, the Government of Jamaica mandates this for the public service. Three, an objective system is needed to assess performance. And four, the updated PMAS aligns individual performance with organizational goals. The implementation of the PMAS involves leadership across all levels from the government to sworn and unsworn members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Let us take a closer look at this relationship. To achieve an overall goal for the benefit of Jamaica, the government sets priorities. Those relating to national security are further developed by the Ministry of National Security for implementation. The Ministry of National Security then engages the law enforcement arms, including the Jamaica Constabulary Force, for the execution of their security strategic plan. Based on the strategic plan of the Ministry, the leadership of the Jamaica Constabulary Force outlines strategic priorities which are shared with the various areas, branches, divisions and formations. These areas, branches, divisions and formations develop their policing plans based on the strategic priorities which are shared with the various units or stations for further development and execution. The plans developed at the station or unit level are further developed for execution by individual staff, thereby ensuring that the overall objectives are achieved. Let us take a look at the purpose, scope and function of the PMAS. 
The purpose of the PMAS is to establish and maintain an equitable and transparent performance-based appraisal system which aligns every member's performance to the organization's objectives. The scope of the policy applies to all sworn and unsworn members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The overall function of the policy is to be a guide for the evaluation of members in the planning, development, coaching, rating and monitoring of performance on a continuous basis. The PMAS has several characteristics geared towards ease of understanding, implementation and execution. These include 1. Well-developed results-oriented corporate and operational plans for each branch, division, formation, and unit within the organization. Two, agreed individual performance targets that are aligned to the organizational goals and objectives. Three, SMART, the acronym SMART, performance targets. That is, targets which are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Four, Performance measures that are designed to track achievement of targets. 5. Regular reviews, feedback on performance and adjustments where required. 6. Identification of training and development needs. And 7. Fair and equitable application of rewards and sanctions. There are several documents used to guide the appraisal process. These include 1. Corporate and operational plans. Two, job descriptions. Three, unit or individual work plans. Four, interim appraisal forms. Five, final appraisal forms. And six, performance appraisal abstracts. The broad objectives of PMAS are 1. To increase the motivation of staff by clearly defined contribution to the organization and to ensure that high performance is rewarded. 2. To institutionalize the principles of customer service and results-oriented operations by creating systems and processes to support delivery in a more efficient and effective manner. 3. To ensure higher levels of productivity by continuously raising the bar. 4. To ensure that all work programs are geared towards achieving the goals of the organization. 5. To facilitate a common understanding of job requirements. 6. To allow for the review of individual performance against mutually agreed performance standards. 7. To facilitate the recognition of good performance and to ensure that poor performance is appropriately managed. 8. To facilitate the training and development needs and ensure they are addressed. Now that our interest has been piqued, let us look at the guiding principles of PMAS. Effective communication. Employees at all levels are to have a clear understanding of their roles, responsibilities, and what is expected of them. Feedback on performance must be given on a continuous basis. Objectivity. Assessments are to be made against mutually agreed, clearly stated targets. Transparency. There should be no surprises. Evaluations and decisions are to be based on evidence drawn from well-documented processes that can stand scrutiny. Fairness. Decisions and actions are to be made and taken with due regard to changing circumstances and the environment as they relate to the achievement of objectives. Equitable treatment. All employees are to be treated equally and have equal and appropriate access to benefits, training, and resources to achieve targets. Rewards. Based on the calendar year just ended, targets agreed should have a 60% weighting. 
competence is demonstrated has a 40% weighting. Overall scores for increments must be greater than or equal to 75%, and the overall score to be rewarded must be at least 80%. New Performance Culture The Jamaica Constabulary Force is embracing a new performance culture with greater emphasis on 1. The development of human resources 2. Optimum utilization of human resources 3. Performance that is client-focused and results-oriented Results of the appraisal provides us with useful information 1. PMAS has an objective basis for the appraisal. 2. Clarity in performance expectation and contribution by the individual. And 3. Improves communication between supervisors. Results of the appraisal provides us with useful information. 1. Performance improvement and skill enhancement. 2. Career development and or succession planning. It also provides for recognition, rewards, and sanctions. Good performance is recognized, improvement is encouraged, and there are sanctions for performance below a minimum standard. On behalf of the Research Planning and Legal Services Branch, the Human Resource Department, and the Constabulary Communication Network, Thanks for viewing the first tutorial of the Performance Management Appraisal System. I'm your presenter, Constable Rashima Gordon.